Hey there, I'm Tony with Philpiece, and I'm gonna show you how you can update your account information, add your company details to, to your job link reports, and some other handy support tips. So first off, to get into your account settings, you go to the circle button in the top right next to the fill piece, and that takes you to your account settings. And from here, you can add a profile picture like I already have one here, but if you didn't have one, you would just tap on it and you could take a photo or you can choose an image from your photo library. Keep in mind, if this is the first time that you, you're using the camera or your photo library with the app, it'll ask you to give the app permission to do so. So just make sure you follow those instructions to give the app permission, okay? Um, below that, I can look at my account information when I set up the account and I can edit either my name or my username or my password. Now keep in mind the email address is the only thing that you cannot change after your account is created. Also at the bottom of the My Account information, it shows me what tier of the JobLink app I am on, either JobLink Free or Pro Plus Invoicing or just Pro, okay? Now under that, we get into the company information. So I can start by adding an image for my company logo. So you do that by just you know tapping on the company logo box and you can add an image from your camera roll to use as your company logo. And then under that, you can input your company information like the name, what the contractor license is, the address, phone numbers, email address, website. And then you can even edit the terms of the, the terms and conditions that appear at the bottom of an invoice if you happen to be on the Pro Plus invoicing tier. So this is where you can edit all of that cool information. And every time you create a job link report, it'll be customized with this company logo and this company information at the top. Now, finally, I just wanna show you down here in the bottom right, the explore button. So you can find some more support here. So first, if you're looking to manage your JobLink account, you can tap on the JobLink account button and it'll open up your browser and take you to where you can log in to your JobLink account through your browser. From there, you can manage um, which subscription tier that you're on. If you do happen to be on a JobLink tier subscription, it's not required, but um, you do have that option to add more features. You could also manage your teams, invite members to your teams, and do all of that fun uh, backend stuff uh, to manage your JobLink account. Now, tapping on the product videos button will take you to our Field Peace Products YouTube page where you can find some helpful short videos on how to use our tools. And tapping on Field Peace University obviously takes you to Field Peace University where you can find some great classes on best practices on the jobs that you do in the field, and then also um, great courses on how to use our tools to their full capability in the field as well. Also, if you're looking for support on the app because you're having any type of issues, the tool support and the app support buttons here give you options on how you can reach us either by phone or by email. And for those of you in different parts of the country that use different units for your measurement, you can tap on the unit settings button here. And here you can choose your unit of preference for pressures or temperatures, vacuum, weight, etc., etc. So updating your units here will reflect in your measurement screen and all of your reports and your measurements will generate in these um, unit settings that you've chosen here. And that's pretty much it. That's how you can update your JobLink account information, add your company info to your JobLink reports, and look for uh, more support when you need it.